that's the car making noise. So hello and welcome. I've received the replacement radio and screen for this. This is a My Way or RNEG, and I, I'm just not happy with it. The sat, sat nav is rubbish, but I don't use it anyway. But more importantly, it doesn't have streaming, Bluetooth streaming, nor USB, and I'd wish it had that. So I ordered from eBay an RNEG2 or RT6, I believe as it's called, and it looks exactly the same. But uh, it's got some slight differences. This has an SD slot below. This does not. This also uses this kind of tool to get it out. And this doesn't. Now, I don't have the proper tools. What I do have, and hopefully this will work, are these. You might not recognize them, but if you play guitar, you, you probably will. These are sort of used to measure uh, neck stuff. But anyway, I'm going to see if it works here. As if it does, it will save me a whole world of bother. No, it doesn't. Oops, there. Finally got the old radio out. Because this stupid thing has got these slots. And it's a very specific type of key. And I went to five different places. Five yesterday. No one could help me, including Citroen. And Citroen, they wanted to charge me 60 freaking euros to take this radio out. Not rubbish. So anyway, that's out. Thank goodness. Next, we want to take her off this strip because we want to get to the, um, to the screen. And the first thing to do is remove this strip because that's hiding the screws. Once again, trim removal tools. They're absolutely and utterly indispensable. I just hope this goes all right. That's what I hope. Thank you. Thank you. Off you come. Nice and gently, but firmly. Whoopsie. Beautiful. Beautiful piece of trim this is. And there you have it. Those are the Torx screws that you have to take out. I think it's a T15 if I'm not... Bugger and blast. Word of advice is to always bring more tools than you think you're going to need. Because usually you're going to need them. And unless, of course, you actually have like a garage or something where you work. All I can say is I envy you very much indeed. There's a video I did of um, removing a hinge. And remember, I did many miles looking for a good place. It was June. It was very hot. So I wanted a place that was uh, far away from people. Because I can't stand people gawking at me when I work. And then I got there and I found out that I needed a 13 millimeter open end spanner, which I didn't have. So that turned out to be incredibly frustrating. There's the last screw. All the screws are out, I believe. Yes, they are make this disappear you want to be careful this is the hazard lights that are going to be attached so i've just noticed that i sat on the um on the seat controls and flipped the seat back and then it was just filming the ceiling which is a big fat pain in the ass so what i did I removed three torque screws from the fascia and then you've got to get your removal tool get in on this side on the right hand side and start pulling it out firmly but don't yank it firmly but also gently at the same time and it will eventually all just click out marvelously this is very well done Citroen did a good job with this because they made it nice and solid and well constructed but not too difficult to disassemble which is a very hard thing to do I think I've already mentioned that I used to have a Mazda and before that a Volvo and to get to any of what I'm doing you have to take apart the entire center console radio air conditioning everything it all has to come out and with this it's a much simpler system and just as well if not better built 
Also, I wanted to show you my uh, torch. This is the original torch that came with the car, but I just replaced the bulb with a much stronger, yet more efficient LED bulb. And I did that today. If you want a teardown of this, I can do that. I wouldn't mind. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you would like one. Always make nice. To, it will be, it's always nice to make content that the masses want to watch. So I managed to disassemble everything. This has come out. Fascia's out. This is very easy. It's just like this brown uh, connector goes in there, and you have to press down on this release sort of clip thing. And this you just pull out. This is to. This is what connects the screen to the radio. Anyway, let's get the new radio, shall we? And the new screen. First thing I'm actually going to do is thread in the USB thingamajig. And I'm not going to thread it into where it's sort of supposed to be because it doesn't have a hole there. And I might do that, but I'm not going to do it today. Not at all. No, because today I want to try something else. I want to try threading this over to that compartment next to my left knee. It's going to be tough. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I can disconnect this on this end. Like so. So I can just thread this end through, hip, through the innards of the car. So don't get the ends mixed up. Well, they are more or less the same. But yeah, this with the felt, this is the bit that goes into the back of the radio. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it can go direct. It has to go down here and then come out. Down the side, here on the left. And it comes out here in the kick panel. So, this is the panel that has to come out. Call it a kick panel. Maybe for obvious reasons, because you keep kicking it. This comes out like so. It would also maybe help to get this bit off, yeah. Then this can come off, comes forward, and it's out. And then, hopefully that wasn't too badly filmed, then this goes in and it goes down. So that wire goes in down the front of the radio. It's going to come out here. You're going to have to feel your way if you want to do this. I managed to get it through. Now I'm going to thread it beneath the steering wheel on this until I come to this place. Unfortunately, if you've got a right-hand drive car, this might not be possible. But yeah, the idea is to come out here and be able to rest inside this this thing here. Oh God, I've got to I've got to glue this to the windscreen. <sighs> Finally, I've got this bitch through. It's bad enough doing it in normal conditions, but in the dark. So yeah, this is going to live in here. <clears throat> oh God, sorry for you can't see this properly, but trust me, this is sodding hard even without <clears throat> having to do this. There you go, it's in there. It'll do for the time being. I'm gonna have to do something better. I'm not really happy with that. It's just dangling around, but I'll I'll get to, I'll do something with that. Radio. Pull that into fourth. Right way up. I'm gonna put in the USB cable so I don't forget. One's in. So got these three, the blue one, which does blue things. White one. White flavour and grey. And perhaps the most important one is the video feed, or whatever it's called. I think it is. Where are you, video feed? There you are. There you are. Sorry, just turned the engine on so I'd have power. That is like so. There we are. And I'm just going to slot it in but I'll make sure it will work first. And then we've got this, Let me turn the engine off for a bit now. Open this up. Okay, 
there's the screen same plugs let me just make sure it's all in the right position that took a bloody long time we're going to come up Persia Citroen good it's in German that's okay Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Sprachgabe einstellen. I think this must be it. Also, this is it. English. English, mother. Do you speak it? System will restart. I knew he was going to put it in German because I spoke to German on, with, with the guy online and I should have just stuck to English. Because my Deutsch is a bit schlecht. If you know German, that was sodding funny. I'm already jumping the gun and putting in screws. If this goes south, this goes pear-shaped. I cannot believe it. I dropped the screw. Is this supposed to take such a long time? Yeah, peripheral search. I had to wait for the thing to start up again. It was taking ages. But uh, hopefully this, this works. Hopefully this works. If it works, I'm just going to shove everything in and put everything back in its place because it because it isn't, as you can probably see. Maybe I have to switch off and oh yeah, I'll do that. Switch off and pair the phone first. Well, it works. I managed to pair the phone. Now I'm going to button everything up. Very easy. Just screw this in again. But of course, one thing I will show you how to put the fascia back because maybe using that you can see how it's taken out because I didn't manage to film that bit which is probably the most important of all but yeah well I wanted to film putting in the fascia but now my camera my camera which is my phone is saying that I don't have enough battery so sod's law again I don't know put the torch here see if this works somewhat but it's it's simple you just have to align everything like so and then give it a bit of a nudge and it will go in i think i've already explained how you get it out god this is annoying let's put it in this bit first because that's got a nice big bit sticking out you can see it's got this thing here so i'm going to try and slot that in first and then all the rest should follow suit god this is annoying this happens there you go slam 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 slams I forgot to hook up the hazard lights. Out you come again, my friend. Mm. There you go. They work. Back in you go. God, it's annoying when things don't go well, but when it's because of you, because you're a moron, it's even worse. So, all the rest is pretty easy, you just stuff this in to the, each, each hole and it all works a treat. This is just, you just shove it in, just make sure the cables aren't snagged, shove it in, Bob's your auntie. So anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this up right here. I don't think you need to see me put the actual last bit of trim, you'll be fine. So thanks very much for watching. And sorry because this is an absolute hash, but I just hope it was, at least it will shed some light on how to change a radio in a Citroen C5 X7. See you next time.